good morning good morning to all of you beautiful people oh boy i do look tired but it's okay welcome to adu tv um welcome guys i know it has been really long time i haven't made any video guys because i've been away and i've been focusing on so many things so i hadn't had time to make videos so back to reality i'll be making a lot of videos and i'm making a lot of blogs about my um, life living with dyslexia and also living with the mental health as well and i think it's super important to raise up the um the, to, to raise the awareness of mental health because uh, so many of us out there we suffer but we don't want to come out in the open but there's nothing wrong coming out in the open because and i think seeking for help you showing you telling yourself that you are strong you want to better yourself you know as a mother of four and i think seeking seeking for help uh i used to think you know they're going to take my children away away my children away i can't speak i think the coffee's you know it's really kicked in um they're going to take my children away but i realized that's not the case um the case is about seeking help so i can be a great mother so much i can enjoy my my children and my children can enjoy me as well because i've got so much to give out there to the world and i've got so much to live for so and i think is a great reason to seek for help because i think we all of us somehow we do go through um, um face we do face a mental health but we don't know what to do and then we you know we think that if we come out in the open we going to be showing a weak side a weak side and it ain't true so this face uh, this youtube channel is going to be basically on um dyslexia you know i myself you all know i am proud living with dyslexic and I'm also talking about my mental health so this video is going to be like a cocktail all mix of everything mix of you know living with dyslexia mix of you know living with the uh, mental health in something that you know right now i am really passionate about and i'm so willing to spread the awareness of it so guys don't forget to, to subscribe i'm gonna i just came out the shower and i'm feeling really cold and then the weather doesn't look really good out there it's looks like it's about to rain and i'm taking you to my journey to my office today because now i'm basically based in the office because i've got my team around me my support workers because you know being dyslexic you always need people to help you uh with reading and writing and you know the strategy of the work that you do so i'm gonna be in the office with my team that the ones that who supports me to run my organization so you know this is this is just a little advice again if you're dyslexic don't give up on yourself if you've got a dream you've got a goal you've got a passion on something go for it because you know that the the big that you know the bigger the dream that you have don't let anybody put you down or doubt your your dreams or your passion of something that you want to do because you know you believing in yourself you can do anything nothing is impossible and impossible everything is possible and i think my dyslexic is kicking in i think my brain is telling me you need to go back to bed but i'm telling my brain no i've got things to do so <laughs> So guys, yes, I'm going to go and put my face on and then, you know, me and my kind of person, I'm very comfortable, you know, I can come out in the, in the camera without my face because I know I always got a second face that's a makeup I can put on, you know, um, that doesn't make the person that I am. You know, we're just trying to put makeup so it makes us feel good, make us feel feminine, just boost up our confidence, you know, a bit with the makeups. So to come in front of the camera without makeup, it doesn't really bother me anyway. So I am who I am. So guys guys um i'm gonna get uh, start getting ready and then i would see you later and welcome back guys thank you for your comment again and then please please don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel it's gonna be amazing you know things that i gotta share with you guys you know some people are very uncomfortable but it, it gotta be said because i know there's so many people out there who are on my shoes as well they don't know what to do maybe i can be you know in, you know encouraging to them maybe i could be one of the person who could motivate them as well so ciao guys in a bit guys when you hear when you hear it rains like cats and dogs yeah let me show you what we mean. It rains like cats and dogs. Look, it's raining really badly. But no choice. We gotta go to work. If it's raining, it's raining. Let it rain. So what can we do, man? Life continues. And it's still raining pretty bad. 
It's raining crazy. It's absolutely right. Okay. Getting the train ready to get in. station and I'm walking up to catch my bus yeah <clears throat> I don't know what's happening with my voice it's very cranky okay guys I'll see when I get to the office mm -hmm. ah, God, my face is really oily guys yeah I'm going to the office now and um, they're gonna try and help me fix up my YouTube channel here we go now. The office. Got all my hardworking ladies here. So, <laughs> yeah. So I've got the team here to help me. They're the one that who supports me to run my organisation with uh, ADU. Got Tam there. Got Cindy. And I've got. I can't pronounce her name. I'm terrible name. Just Andrew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <wow>. Yeah. <laughs> So when guys, this is Sandra, you say you're dyslexic, well, how do you do this post? So it's these two amazing ladies who helps me. So that's how we say, don't be scared to go and seek for help. There's a help out there. So now you guys, the secret is out. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to get on with it. So I've got an amazing person behind me. Yeah, miracle work coming with the YouTube channel. <laughs> miracle. I finished work now, so I'm going home and I'm stopping in cafe to have myself a cup of tea and scone. I do that normally before I go home, it gives me time to relax before I... Um, yeah, it was an absolutely amazing day today. I really had a good time in the office with the rest of the ladies in the office. Um, funny enough, you know, this is what happened today. As I was just about to leave and the rest of the team, they were getting the photo shoots and everything. So I didn't know how much I love pictures. <laughs> yeah, how much I love pictures. So they've decided to take uh, some of my pictures as well. And I had a bit of a music on, I was dancing away. So it really helped, really helped make me feel good. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, we were discussing something in the office that really triggered old memories because as you can see on the video, this video actually, I was, I got up and I was just about to take my high blood pressure as well before I leave the house. I have to keep, mon um, I have to keep, I have to moni monitor my high, my high blood pressure because of, um, uh, yeah, because of my blood is so, my blood pressure is so high. I can't even speak now because I'm tired. You know, we all know dyslexic when we get tired, our speech is a bit, you know, out of it. And then um, in the office, we were talking about the health, you know, well-being, mental health and stuff like that. Um, this channel, basically, I'm going to address the awareness of um, uh, mental health as well, because I do suffer from mental health. Um, I'm really going to open up. It took me nearly 40 years to um, talk about my mental health. My dyslexic, you know, I'm a bit open, but my mental health, I don't really talk about it. The reason, you know, there's so much stigma behind um, mental health as well. So on Friday, I've got an appointment with the wellbeing team. Um, they like my counselors and they support me in that. So, yeah, I'm going to be taking you to that journey. So this channel basically is about addressing well-being and on top of it, talking about my journey living with dyslexia, with um, mental health journey as well, that, you know, I live with a mental health, um, mental health condition as well. So mental health, it, it does exist. I mean, you know, it does exist. And I've been living with mental health almost all my life. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up for now. I'm going to get something to eat and get changed and get the kids dinner and then get ready for tomorrow because there's another day tomorrow in the office and um don't forget to subscribe guys don't forget to subscribe there's a lot to come on board there's a lot there's a lot um of uh, videos that i'll be posting as well so that's it take care don't forget to subscribe this is your lady and i hope you have enjoyed